Hey guys, what's up? By Zach Detroit here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next video. And uh, you guys in the past have asked for me to show my base a little bit more. So this is my war base. It's not one of the ones I made during the live base build. Uh, one of those videos. It's just kind of a a different one, but you can tell that it looks a lot like uh, pretty much all the Town Hall Ten bases I make. They all kind of have somewhat of a similar layout. Uh, you can see it has the infernos. They're separated by that big core with no uh, real defensive buildings in it. Has the expos on ground and a lot of like defenses all around here uh, that are can't be reached by a queen. Uh, so they're kind of anti queen walk and had the long skinny compartments to defend against Valks to some extent. So kind of all those principles weaved into it. So even though it's not one of the uh, vid uh, the bases from the live base build videos, it still has. Um, all the the principles that we talk about during those videos so I hope this is something that you guys have been looking forward to seeing and uh, I'm going to be showing all four attacks these are by the enemy clan and it was a very close war that we actually lost so this was a very solid clan uh, they did a great job and they had some good attacks but my base held up well and uh, it took four attacks to get it down so we're going to start here and go through each one uh, just kind of showing the progression what they tried and uh, what worked so this should give a little more perspective to the uh, town hall 10 base building scene and also the attacking game as well so anyway uh, looking at this first one we have um, balalaka or something like that going in with a uh, kind of a valk bowler mix attack that you see sometimes at town hall 10 and he dropped in some wall breakers I assume he was going for that big compartment, not just the little one with the cannon and the Tesla, because he drops in some more wall breakers, has to pop the queen's ability because as I designed, you have all those to point defense trying to defend against an entry from the queen there. So he drops that rage, but it's too late. The queen goes down and uh, this attack is not looking good to start. So he has to think about what he's going to do here. The healer's just sitting there, um, goes ahead and drops down a Valk. He's going to try to funnel in the main force of his bowlers and valks drops down the king some uh, bowlers up there letting them do some work and then there's the main group of valks and then bowlers uh he'll drop in uh just well, actually just a rage let them swing through that wall and everything will make its way on into the base so at this point his troops kind of go kind of weird because he has no jump uh, some of them go to the outside some of them go to that long compartment the king goes for the wall um, just kind of a huge scattering of troops right now. That first Inferno goes down, he froze it, and the bowlers under the rage took it out. But from there, they have to deal with the CC Golem and the CC Balloon, uh, which slows them down. And uh, my defense is starting to get to them. There is a group of hogs making their way through, but they'll go down pretty quickly. And uh, there are actually is a significant group of bowlers going around the outside too. So he has that, but not anything significant really in the middle of the base here. Just basically that king... Uh, who is on the wall right there and part of the benefits of having that segmented uh, core with those walls separating out um, everything in there is that even though the king swings through that one wall he only accesses the cc and the sweeper so doesn't really get anything out of that and he's kind of landlocked now he'll go down pretty quickly uh, the rest of the bowlers went down around the outside that'll do it for the first attack successfully defended uh, to 71 percent and at my level we're just trying to defend against the three star basically. So anyway, um, going to the second attack on my base. This one was a pretty promising attack. He's bringing quite the uh, selection of troops, has all different kinds of stuff in there, six healers, and uh, he does a great queen walk, which gets some awesome value, but he really just can't get anything more out of it. Um, so goes ahead and drops in a few minions, an archer, creating a funnel here. Drops down some barbs. Uh, I'm not sure what hit the deal was in that army camp, but he has to drop a Valk to take it out. And from there, he's created a funnel for the queen. Going to drop her down, and he's going to get pretty deep into my base with this one queen walk. So uh, good stuff here. He has level 40, 40 heroes as well, even though he's their number 8. They had some pretty solid heroes in this clan, so uh, that definitely did not hurt them in their attacks. Drops in these wall breakers to let the queen on in. And the funneling's pretty solid. She's going to go into the uh, bottom right compartment right there. Goes ahead and drops in two hogs. Only needed one, but uh, I guess two to be safe. Gets the CC lure, the golem, the balloon come out. Pretty solid placement on the poison. 
and drops that rage for the queen because she was pretty low there, brings her back from nearly dead right there, uh, goes ahead and while she's working, drops in that golem and uh, some bowlers, just uh, just the one bowler behind it for right now. But the main thing is the what the queen gets because the uh, baby dragon goes down to help funnel her, make sure she doesn't walk, pops the ability, then drops that freeze, and she's actually going to get that first inferno taken out. Uh, the skelly trap does pop, which is there to help defend the inferno, but she gets it down before the skellies engage her. Meanwhile, everything is making its way in. <clears throat> Sorry about that. On the bottom and. The only problem is that his bowlers hit a giant bomb, and then they go straight into the Inferno, so the healers didn't get a chance to heal the bowlers. He was distracted with the Queen Walk, so he couldn't take care of his bowlers sufficiently. Uh, he also let the Golem die too long. He waited because he was going back to focus on his Queen. So I think a lot of it was the, the struggle to keep his Queen up because it was an awesome walk, but at the same time... Uh, he had to focus on his bowlers because he already dropped down that golem. He already initiated the attack on that side. So hard to multitask there. And the queen actually does go down after she gets the inferno. So still a very high value walk. But uh, besides that, the bowlers kind of petered out pretty quickly and uh, didn't account for the outside of the base, which you can see those Teslas, they definitely help here uh, because I'm spreading out all my point defense, making it so they can't just get taken out with everything else in the core of the base. Uh, they're really going to do more on the outside for me. So anyway, I uh, go ahead and fast forward as that bowler goes down. And that is the second attack on me. Let's go to the third one, see what happened here. Because this one, I think, was somewhat promising. And uh, it's interesting because we don't see air attacks that much at Town Hall 10, especially when you have, you know, max Valks, max, or not max bowlers. But people at this level have access to the max Valks level 2 bowlers. And especially against a base that's town that has the level one infernos and the town hall nine point defense like I do, you would see more of an overpowering attack. But this guy goes a little more for for the finesse air attack, and he's trying to do that exact same walk that the last guy did. But uh, keep in mind, the last walk was very close at times; wasn't like a secure thing at all. So the the beginning goes fine. He actually saves quite a few more troops because for whatever reason, the last guy had some trouble funneling or whatever, uh, which this guy kind of avoided. But anyway, he lures out the CC, only one hog there, drops down the poison, drops down the rage, just like the last guy. Um, and he's basically planning on getting in here, uh, getting that air defense, getting the inferno, and then meeting up with the king and like a golem or something, and uh, getting to that last, or the second air defense and the queen. So there goes the king, actually pretty early on the king right there, uh, already dropping that dude in, and uh, he's taking quite a bit of damage. But he is level 40. He does have a wall breaker fail here because that Tesla pops. He probably should have accounted for that. Uh, dropped down a giant or something. But has one more wall breaker to at least help get into the, the base there. And uh, the I think the freeze wore off. That Inferno was so close to going down. I wasn't actually paying attention really, unfortunately. But the Inferno didn't quite go down. I think the Skelly Traps helped a little bit too. Uh, because it was so close on the last attack that... Just one thing went slightly different, and the Inferno does not quite go down, which really hurts because uh, still it's the Air Sweeper's pushing stuff back, so we can't exactly go straight at that Inferno. Comes in with the first Lava Hound, it's at the second one, and the third one, all at the same time, surrounded by balloons. And this might have worked had a little more gone down, but the Queen is still up, and she's actually going to lock onto some of these balloons. And that's kind of worst case scenario when the Queen gets on these balloons because they go down in about two shots. And uh, the Lava Hounds are making their way through, but they're going to go down pretty quickly. Um, all my air traps spread out, uh, doing a pretty standard amount of damage on them. And uh, those balloons go down. Pretty much this thing is over. Uh, those healers just kind of walking their way around, going for that wizard now. So anyway, everything goes down. Pretty good try to this guy. I, I know the plan, but I think just air is so tough to use right now. Even with the... Uh, the level 4 Lava Hound in the CC, or in any kind of slight buffs, uh, very hard to use air in war right now at Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 even. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the final attack that got the 3 star. And what do you know, going to a mass bowler attack, coming in with just the standard golem, a few bowlers on each side uh, with the healers on them. And this guy actually dropped down the golem too close and the healers don't heal that golem which is what you typically see in this attack. So the golem 
uh, goes down pretty quickly, and there's nothing to tank for the bowlers, but unfortunately everything's moving through so quickly that first Inferno is going to go down really quickly with the Rage. Uh, it's down already, has the jump, uh, just letting the bowlers beat through that first wall, I guess, uh, right there. And uh, yeah, actually there was a jump right there, never mind. So kind of double jumps his way through with the two Rages also and the Freeze for that second Inferno. The second Inferno goes down extremely quickly, kind of a lucky bounce right there, but got the job done. And those Raged healers are tough when you have no Inferno Towers left because not much can take them down. You can see some giant bombs going off, but they don't do quite enough damage to take down those bowlers and the healers get them right back up. Plus has uh, another group that was used for the funnel going around the top and uh, his queen is still up with the ability. She's getting healed back up. So anyway, uh, go ahead and go times two because it's just a matter of the bowlers making their way around. Now he did forget about my corner builder's hut, which could have been huge if it pulled up the 99% two star for me. But unfortunately with these attacks, uh, especially because he didn't do a queen walk or anything, he has plenty of time left. So even though he has to go through like 10 walls at this point, uh, he will get to that builder's hut eventually and uh, not even that close on time. I think he had like 15, 20 seconds. Uh, these bowlers are extremely slow, but they will get there eventually. Go, 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 go. Yep, there they go. And they'll take down my P.E.K.K.A. statue and my builder's hut. So anyway, a uh, good attack to this guy nonetheless, especially because he was one of the lower attackers to hit me. Uh, only had the 30 king instead of the uh, 40-40s that most of the guys had. So anyway, uh, probably do a recap of this war because it was a good war. And maybe even some other videos I can make out of it. Uh, but good job to both clans. They just had the better war. So we'll go back to the drawing board and try to see what we could change you know, in planning and in the, the execution of the war. So anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the attacks though. Let me know if you did, if you want to see my war base a little bit more when I'm able to show it to you guys because uh, it's something that I've been seeing in the comments uh, requested for. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.